What's up, guys? Welcome back to Get a Cooper Gaming. Well, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, jeez, excuse me. I can smell that over here. Oh God. I, oh. It smells like strawberries and cream frappuccino. <laughs> well, hey, you know it's not the not the most unpleasant smell in the world. You know it, it is, could be worse. Yeah, you could be Cheerio burping. Oh God, that is the worst. That would be just. That is the Beast. absolute worst. Okay, I know I've told you this before, and Colin can vouch for me on this. No, actually, well, one of my brothers can vouch for me on this. Um, my freshman year of high school, I had this friend who we would uh, carpool with, um, and he'd come in, and he always had Cheerio breath, and it was just the worst. It's like, you ever get that taste, you know, you're eating a bowl of, like, not even regular Cheerios, Honey Nut Cheerios, and you're eating a bowl of that goodness, and then suddenly it's just, like, you've got that breath and it's just so bad yeah and you try and like drown it out with orange juice and it's just it makes it worse i don't know why that happens with like cheerios sometimes i think that's actually the reason why i don't like uh... honey nut cheerios it's because uh -huh. it leaves you with that really bad breath afterwards but that's like the best kind of cheerios no you know what i'll eat over honey nut cheerios multi-grain cheerios Okay, I, yeah, those are pretty good, though. Yeah, I actually like multigrain Cheerios. There's a nothing in there. There's a couple of enemies. Yeah, when I was helping Erin at her um, her school, not not like in where my mom lives. Yeah, I know. Um, she had a bunch of cereal, and she's like, you know, this is gonna go stale before um, school year starts. You can have it for oh, snack sure. while you work if you want. And I'm like. Hell yes. <laughs> so I ate all of her, her Cheerios. Nice. Hold on, can I actually... I can get up here now because that platform lowered. Okay, so now that I have the boost ball, I'm going to go back to the temple. Eh. I'm going to go the other way. I don't want to go this way. There's a perfectly convenient door here that I can use. A door. I was like, would I rather do the morph ball section, or would I rather do this section? Where I fight a, a Grenchler. A single Grenchler. One single Grinch. Yep. You're a mean one, Mr. Grenchler. You really are a beast. I, I sang that in the last part. Did you? Yeah. You didn't notice? Sorry. I'm... I'm like trying to stay as focused on the game as I possibly can. I apologize. Rude. No, okay. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I do that too when I'm playing video games. Like you just try to stay 100% focused on the game. Yeah, that's yeah. why I'm so quiet during Kingdom Hearts is because I'm trying to. Doing a Let's Play channel is hard. It's it's hard because like you're trying to focus on you know doing decently at the game, and you're also trying to provide good commentary. So it's almost one of those things like where you have to sacrifice one in um in exchange for the other. Yeah. Like I didn't get Grumps talk about that, like I think yeah, the Grumps did talk about that. Because like we all know they are not good at games. <laughs> well, they're good at a few at select games. Yeah. No, but they're they're decent. Yeah, but it's it yeah, it's it's exactly that thing. Like you have to sac like sometimes you have to sacrifice gameplay if you want to have good commentary. And sometimes you gotta, you know, if you're focused really hard on a game or something like this, like, I'm trying to be as good as I possibly can, but that's not always the easiest thing to do, because, yeah. Because, yeah. I'm trying to be good at the game, and so sometimes the commentary... Is a little yeah, lacking. Is lacking because of that. Yeah. And, you know, I, I feel like we've gotten better at it. Definitely. But... You know, it's, yeah. a, it's In some cases, yes. in some cases, I feel like we've kind of deteriorated, but in other cases, I feel like we do really well. well but I mean, in that's... some cases, we're fucking tired. Like, well, yeah, that's just. Hold on, I gotta remember. Okay, that's just a fault of our own. Like, I mean, yeah, Is it... I'm just tired all the time because I have a chronic illness. Like, that's basically my excuse, but. Yeah, and I'm just tired because work is terrible. Yeah. 
We're just tired because life is tiring. Yeah. By the way, there's no set way to do this. You just kind of have to have all the platforms glow. So I'm just kind of fucking around. So you just try to spin the thing and make it like a puzzle? Yeah. And I think if I go back to the first one... Ooh! Yep, and then if I go back to the second one... Mm, nope, that ain't gonna do it. I need, to, I need to go to this one. Uh, but I need to get the middle one lit up. Oh, I think now if I use the second one, yeah, you just have to get them all lit up. So... It's a puzzle. It is a puzzle indeed. This reminds me of a puzzle, Luke. <laughs> I'm glad we were thinking the same thing. Um, fuck! This first one, wasn't that a... Oh wait, no, I need to go back in. I fucked it up. This is bullshit, lots of bullshit, but I need this one to do all the things. Also, that portal is totes active, but I can't get to it. Okay, now I just need to find a way to spin this entire fucking thing around. I thought there was a method, but there's... it's just whatever. Hey, you take your time. I am good at doing that. <laughs> okay. Let's see. You got this. God, this is worse than like arranging the puzzles in fucking Assassin's Creed. You know what? I was actually thinking about that. Like when you started spinning this thing, I was I, I started thinking about Assassin's Creed. That yeah, that's that's pretty much what this is. It's a glyph puzzle. Here we go. And we're done. <laughs> nice! Fuck that shit. Good job. Yeah, but we get a cool new item, and actually the first time this item has appeared in the Metroid series. So, yay to this. Is it the... Fuck, I forgot the name of it. <laughs> um, I... no. I don't know. Pretty sure it's not what I was thinking of. No. This is the Seeker Missile. Yeah, no, it wasn't what I was thinking of. What, uh, were, you, what were you thinking of? I, I don't know. Were you thinking of the power bomb? Yeah. The mm. plasma beam? No, I was thinking of something with the morph ball. The spider ball? Yes. No, spider ball is in prime one. So yeah, pretty much a uh, seeker missile. You can lock onto f up to five targets with uh, with missiles, and then you also use it to uh, destroy those locked doors. And then later on, we'll get an item which lets us see into, like, see, like, hidden things and stuff, and we'll need to use that too. So if you recognize this area, this is our ship. Oh, hey, ship. Yep. Now we can go back here anytime we want through the means of shortcut. While I'm here, I'm actually going to, you know, use it so I can restore my ammo. Because you know what? That's, that's good. I like having a shortcut. So your ship can restore your the ammo of weapons that you've only found on this planet. Well, he, he, good point. <laughs> but yes, <laughs> they can do exactly that. <laughs> I don't know. That's just one of those things that doesn't really go explained all too well. Come on, let me in. <laughs> don't question it. Shut up. <laughs> Just tell me the problem over this hot, over this hot beat. <laughs> okay. But I mean, I mean, it's beam ammo, so I guess it works. I guess you just kind of have to tell it. You have to take its word. Yeah. Oh yeah, I come equipped with all kinds of ammo rations, and such. <laughs> You're just like, okay. So I have a question. What? What's Samus doing about food? Samus doesn't need to eat. I mean, she's going on this whirlwind adventure, you know, fucking... Samus eats the bugs. Samus's Bear Grylls. 
<laughs> Samus is space bear girls. Yep. Like moon bear. <laughs> yeah. Samus is the moon bear grills. Yeah, let's go back to Torvis, shall we? Desmond Samus. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, dude, maybe I should have had another cup of coffee. You didn't even have coffee. No, I didn't. I you yeah. Fr you, you were like, okay, oh, you know what? Coffee, that that was know. that was my bad. I went to go get a cup of coffee, and I didn't even get a cup of coffee because I saw that and I was like, you know what? I feel like having something fruity. You know what? They could have had me. It, <laughs> you know what? After this, I'm gonna go and get myself a cup of Joe. Who's Joe? A cup of Joe. <laughs> Joe. Let's see here. I'm trying to remember how I get the. Wait, hold on. If I go back, because there was a super missile door in this area where I had to use the bomb slot. I'm trying to remember. Was that important? Because I'm trying to think of how to get all the. Dark Torvis keys. Mm. Doesn't mean I have one, so yay. Thanks, now I can actually use this portal now that I've lowered that platform. Jumpy jump, jumpy jump. Lots of jumpy jump. There's rain. Thank god I have the space jump. Was that was that the rain or just somebody slamming really hard on something? No, I was talking about rain in the game. Oh. It was just somebody slamming really hard. Okay. Doesn't mean, yeah, it's Monsoon mon mon season. <laughs> season. You, just, you yeah. just look up in the sky and there's a bunch <laughs> of people named Susan dropping from the clouds. Jeez, what is this, Jamestown? Rude. Too soon. Too soon? It happened, like, when? In the 1970s. Yeah, in the 1970s. That's not too soon. There's still a bunch of people dying. Well, I mean, yeah, I feel bad, but at the same time, it's just kind of like... Mm -hmm. Hold on, um, no, I don't need to go here yet. Just checking. You know, there's a lot of checking around you need to do in this game. So much. <laughs> so much. But I mean, that's the style of Metroid games, so, you know, what can you do? Exploration. Yep. I like exploration games, I mean, I... That's why I like the Metroid series so much. Yeah, but you also like Sonic games where you're not really meant to explore. Well, I grew up with Sonic. So, not gonna go this way. I'll go back here later. There's actually an, uh, there's a missile expansion in there that I can get later on when I get the grapple beam back. Yeah, I mean, I grew up with Sonic, so I mean, I like that style of game, but like... Nowadays, like, I'm really into, like, kind of exploring games. I'm still into RPGs. There is nothing wrong with that. The first game I remember playing was Super Smash Bros. <laughs> 64. And then... And that's a good game to start off with. Yeah. And then my brother introduced me to Chrono Trigger. And that's a good game to start off with. Yeah. And then Monkey Island. So that might explain why I like slower paced games. Possibly. <laughs> Just shoot the door until it opens. Yeah, this door, I ain't gonna have any of its shit. So if I go here, I can get a... No, I'm just gonna go ahead and... Oh yeah, I'm just gonna open this up while I'm here. Because, why not? I don't even need to do this yet, but... Okay. Yeah, might as well. Yep. Access to Aegon Wastes. So, it's just a shortcut to get to the other area, so now I don't have to go through the temple grounds in order to get there. So, yay? This area is annoying. What? Although, this area actually, I'm going to point out, has some of my favorite music in the Metroid series. So, there is a silver lining to this one. At least! Yep, at least this. And I'm gonna try and stay kind of quiet for a second, if you can hear it. There we go. That's nice. 
It is. Yeah. yeah. It might be too quiet to, for the mic, but. Well, what you know what I'll actually do because I have the prime soundtrack. I'll I'll throw it up there, just kind of like bump the volume up a little bit so you guys can hear the soundtrack. But it's the um, it's a remix of uh, Brinstar slash Meridia from Super Metroid, and like. I really like this remix of it. The area? Not so much, but at least the game is cool. This game, this area introduces enemies, if I can find them, swimming around here. Where are they? Well, they're around somewhere. There's one. The Blog. I hate them with passion. They're stupid and annoying. One can turn towards me. Dead. And also, Ew. I know, also, like, grime and. Ugh. Dude, this is exactly why I don't like, what, like, the ocean and shit, is because you can't see. Yeah, it is pretty. Oh, uh, you know what? I need to get back up there. <sighs> Alright, where's the air current? Chugga, chugga, chugga. Yeah, really. Chugga, chugga, chugga. Oh. There's... no, that's not one. There are three of these areas that I need to... oh, here it is. Yeah, there are three of these little areas that I need to raise. So I'm assuming this blog doesn't come and fuck me up! It fucked me up. <laughs> Get back here, you little dude! You little asswipe! <laughs> here it comes! Dead. Whoa, Samus. Nice face. Yeah, you like that little effect there? Let's see your face. So yeah, I had to make sure that I was getting the Seeker missiles for this area, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to access any of this. Yeah, this is the Seeker missile door, I think. Yeah, the other ones I have to actually go up and walk around them. So... This area is very explorative. Where did... Oh, yeah, I have to go back underwater. There is actually a sequence break here that you can do that I've tried and failed many times, where you can use... Like, before you get the the uh, the gravity suit knockoff in this game, <laughs> there's a little thing you can do where um, you use the moment... I need to do it again. You use the momentum of the of the water physics. Sorry, I need, I'm just gonna do this first. There we go. Yeah, you use the momentum of the water physics. You get on there, and you can use it to hop to these other platforms to get to areas early. All right. Mhm. Mm Fish. Oh, music change. You hear that? You go up here, and it's. Blue lasery, like sparkly stuff. Do you remember what I told you about that? Yes, but I don't think I should spoil it. Yeah, nope. We're not gonna spoil it because it's gonna spoil it right here. <laughs> Guess who's back, baby? <laughs> <laughs> it's me. <laughs> nice evil laugh. And you're dead again. Okay, bye. Yeah, so now, ah, oh, we gotta actually go down there and hurt, kill the blog, blarg. I think they're just called blogs. Leave me alone. Ow. Ow, fucking hell. Okay, you're dead. And you're dead. The blub, blub, blub. I hate the blog. I think they're stupid enemies, and I do not like them. Well, Which way do I want to go? Chairman Drek is a uh, kind of a dick. <laughs> well, those are the Blarg. I, I know. Just... I was, I was making it. Well, yeah, he is kind of a dick. I was making a joke about the blogs and the Blargs and. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate. And the blue groups. Oh, I can't get out of here. Shit. I was gonna go and save because this part is starting to run a little long, but. You know what? I guess I'll just get to a save point and then and call it a call it a yeah, save point. Call, call it a save point. So I hope you guys like extended Metroid parts. We.
I love extensions. I love Metroid. I love, I love, I love cranberries. <laughs> it's C for, for cranberries. cranberries. Oh, jeez. Uh, we watch too much Game Grumps. Yeah. I think me more than you, but yeah. what, that's beside the point. Well, I watch it through you. Yeah. I live vicariously through you, as any adult would say. Yeah, whatever. Okay, blog, I'm here to f oh, shit. I'm here to fuck you up. You're here to shit? Yeah, Go to the bathroom, it. dude. Assuming the blog would leave me alone. You know, you know what I'm gonna do? Take a big shit. Ah, damn it. I was not quick enough. Where's the blur? Come on, why don't you fight me? I guess that one wanted to fight <laughs> me. You guys are the biggest pieces of shit ever. <laughs> God, just let me kill you, please. <laughs> Admittedly, like, their triple mouth design is pretty cool. Where's the other one? Ugh. You! Come on. Fire over here. Get its attention. Get its attention! I just want to fucking piss you off. You can only attack these guys when their mouths are open, but if they don't want to attack you, then you don't get to do anything. Once again, too early. Or too late. You got this, boo. Uh, I hope. I just want to get this over with. <laughs> okay, well, I got one hit on it. Come on. Hit me again. Hit me again. Do it. Punch. Do it, you little shit. Find the bears, motherfucker. You little... F <sighs> Have I told you yet why I hate Dark Torvis? Um... Well, why I hate regular Torvis. And Dark Torvis is not better. There we go. Yeah, finally. And I think there's a thing under here somewhere. I don't think it's important yet. Uh, look, okay, babe. Yeah, sooner we get. I can. I'm gonna groan about a video game. I'm gonna groan like a little whiny whiner. A little whiny whiner. Yes, a little whiny whiner. I need the gravity suit knock off to get up there. Uh, so much chugging. Chug it, chug it. So chug. much chug a chug a lugging lugging. Ah, uh, uh, shit. Hey, new door type. <laughs> hey, look. Yeah, we'll get that later. Now I can come over here and get the next, uh... The next switch, and I can finally get out of this... Well, I mean, somewhat get out of this area. I think there is one key down here, and then I need to get one more elsewhere. I think I remember how to get it, but... There we go. Another lock disengaged. And also, you can kind of see there, there's little mini blogs. They are not nearly as annoying. No, mini blogs. Yep, they can still ram into you and hurt you, but they're not as annoying as the big blogs. You know, like, uh... I don't know. I was trying to think of a blog, but I couldn't think of it. <laughs> oh, well. So, there's a save point. We're going to cut this episode off. We'll see you all in the next exciting episode of Get a Cool with Gaming. Yeah. Take care, you pretty people. Bye, guys.